Hi guys! So I am surrounded by a bunch of my plant babies because today I'm going to be doing a little plant collection video for you. Uh, this was a highly requested video and I'm so happy you guys wanted to see this because I love plants. I love talking about plants. They're kind of like crystals for me. Um, they are just little pieces of joy in my life. And if you're a homebody like me, you will know what a difference having plants in your living space can make. I mean, I've only been collecting plants for a little over a year, but they have just completely transformed my space. It brings a little bit of nature into your living area, and it's just so rewarding taking care of plants and seeing them flourish and grow. It's such a beautiful thing and plants are really great for cleaning the air as well so there's just so many benefits to having plants or at least that's how i justify it so i can continue to expand my collection i mean you guys once you start it's really hard to stop there's so so many plants that i want but i just don't have the space in my apartment so let's just jump straight into the video so first up i have my snake plant my sansevieria also known as mother-in-law's tongue and the reason i'm showing you this one first is because this snake plant is kind of what started it all it started my love affair with having house plants my mom had one at her house and i just fell in love with it and my quest for a snake plant began i got this one at north shore tropicals i actually filmed a video the day that i got it so i will link that down below if you're interested in more plant videos and if you're new to plants this would make a great first plant snake plants are really easy to take care of so if you are someone who always seems to kill plants or maybe you go away a lot so you don't have a lot of time to invest in taking care of your plants then the snake plant will be perfect for you it doesn't require a lot of light it doesn't require a lot of water and it just looks so cool like come on and there's so many different varieties as well so i hope to get a few more varieties in the future um but yeah i just love my little snake plant and what's really crazy is i went away for a while and when i came back the snake plant had shot up this big stalk and it had actually blossomed and flowered um but the flower I could not handle the scent. It was so fragrant that it made me nauseous. Like I couldn't sleep at night, that's how fragrant it was. But I looked it up and a lot of people were saying that it had the most beautiful fragrance and it was just so delightful, but not for me. But I thought it was really cool that it had bloomed. I didn't know it was gonna do that. So I love my snake plant. And then next we have my oxalis plant. I think this is also called shamrock plant. And I absolutely love this plant. It has been such a treat to just watch it grow. I actually got a little clipping, just one little clipping from my cousin. I put it in a pot of soil and I walked home with it. And by the time I got home, the plant had just completely wilted up and I thought that it was dead. So I just put it on my windowsill in the kitchen and forgot about it. And then about a week later, I saw a new little sprouting coming up and I got really excited. And after a month or two, it just, it grew into this huge bushy plant and it has these beautiful purple flowers on it. And it is just, such a cool cool plant to have it's really neat because at night this plant will actually go to sleep it'll just close up and then in the morning it opens again so it's kind of cool because it's a really active plant and i keep her beside my lemon plant in the kitchen and they just bring me so much happiness i just love her so much and then i have my rubber tree or my rubber plant and it has these beautiful thick glossy leaves and i actually got this one for free i went to a garden party that north shore tropicals was hosting in the summer and she was just giving away free gift bags that had plants in them so i took one that had a rubber tree in it and he was about 
yay high when I got him. So he's grown. I just have some chopsticks to support him, to make him grow straight. And you can see he's developing this new leaf right here, which will soon open up. And yeah, it's just kind of special. I love him. Mm -hmm. Next up, I have my ZZ plant. I love this plant. Uh, it has these beautiful, glossy leaves. They're so beautiful. They almost look fake, like they look like plastic or something. Um, this is another really easy plant to take care of. It doesn't require a lot of watering. It grows pretty fast. This one has grown a lot faster than the rest. I don't know what's up with that. These ones really need to catch up. Um, but they're just beautiful, beautiful plants. You do want to be careful with these ones because I believe they are pretty toxic to animals. So if you have little animals around, you don't want to um, have one of these probably. I'm really lucky with Bambi because he does not get into anything. He doesn't eat anything. He could care less about these plants. I mean, I could put this in his face and he'll just be like, I don't want it. I don't want to get away from me. So I don't have to worry about him. Plus I keep the plants up high usually. But yeah, I love my ZZ plant. And then I have my beautiful lemon plant. Uh, we were just eating a lemon and then my mom planted the seeds in some soil and it has developed into this beautiful, beautiful plant. I just really like the foliage. I think it's really pretty and I keep it in the kitchen beside my oxalis plant and yeah it's just kind of cool that you can plant a seed and it can grow into something magnificent like this I mean that's what I love about plants is they're so rewarding because you get to really care for them and see the fruits of your labor. So now I'll go through these ones and show you them. This is a jade plant. I love it so much. I just got this at the grocery store. I was at checkout and they always put those gorgeous plants there and I can't resist. Um, but yeah, succulents are another fairly great plant for a beginner because you don't need to water them a lot. And I just think it looks so cool. And then we have my elephant plant or elephant bush plant. I believe that's what it's called. And this is another one that I got tempted at the grocery store. And during checkout, I just decided to buy it. I think it was only like six bucks or something. I just thought it was really kind of unique looking. I think it's super cute. And yeah, I love it. And then next up, I have something special. Oh dear, this is this is my string of pearls. I actually have two. As you can see my little one hanging down there, super gorgeous. Um, and then I have some more propagating because these are really easy to propagate. Uh, but look at this one. Oh, the minute I saw a string of pearls on Pinterest, I fell in love. I think they are so cool. I love any sort of hanging plant, but oh, this string of pearls is just, mm, it's just my precious, precious baby. I got this one at Garden Works in North Vancouver and yeah, it's growing really fast. I keep this on my shelf and I just see her growing and growing and growing and growing. It reminds me of hair growing. Maybe that's why I like it. Uh, I just think it looks so cool. And there's something, I think it's called string of coins. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's called string of coins, but it's kind of similar to this, but it's like a coin shape. And I just think that th that is so cool. That would be a dream plant for me, but I've never ever seen one, but I love string of pearls. Like, look at that. Look at that, you guys. How cool is this plant? I can show you this one too. Ooh, this one's a little more sparse. And then I have my special love right here. This is my pothos, pothos, 
I call it pothos, but I notice everybody calls it pothos. What a beautiful, beautiful plant this is. This is, I believe, the neon pothos variety. Um, it might be moonlight, I can't remember, but I got this at Old Faithful Shop down in Gastown, and that's actually where I buy all my, or most of my pots, the concrete ones concrete looking ones. This was about $14. When I got it, it was kind of this yellow color that I wasn't too excited about. I was really hoping for it to be more of a vibrant green, but after a few months of adjusting to my apartment, it turned into this beautiful color and it grows so fast. I think I got it when it was about that big and now it's just growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Uh, so I love this one. It just hangs from my shelf and looks so cool. Every time I look at it, I smile. It just grows so fast. The lighter yellow ones are the newer leaves that are popping up. I might clip this down and make another one, but for now, my baby is going to stay along. I might as well show you my palm tree now. This one is actually new. I had a different one before, but when I went away, unfortunately it died. So these ones do require a lot more care, a lot more light and watering and misting because they like high humidity, but I really love them. I think it just kind of brings a nice tropical feel into the living space. And this one is so bushy and tall. I think it was about $50 at Canadian Tire, but when I saw it, I just fell in love with it and I knew I needed to take her home. And this variety is the Majesty variety and I love it. I love it so, so much. Oh, it's heavy. This is my emerald gem plant and I got this one at Old Faithful Shop in Gastown as well. It was kind of an impulse buy. I just thought it looked really cool. I liked the heart-shaped leaves. It is a bit finicky. I noticed that it'll start to droop after a while, but I think it just needs water because then I stick it in the shower on the misting set, 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 setting and um, give it some water and it just perks right back up. So that's kind of cool. And I don't really have too much else to say about it, but it's cool. And then I can't forget about this little baby. So this is just a little succulent that is planted in an amethyst candle holder. So I don't really burn too many candles. So this is just a different way that you can use your candle holders. I feel like I just give it a teaspoon of water every couple of months and yeah, it's doing fine. And then I kind of spoiled myself today and I got two new plants. So I got this gorgeous pilea plant. I have been wanting one of these for so long, you guys. I just think their leaves are the most beautiful leaves in the world. And this is also known as the Chinese money plant. I'm so excited to have my little pilea baby. And this one is so healthy. I just, I couldn't resist when I saw her. And then I also got this plant, but I don't know what it is. Usually I don't buy plants not knowing what it is, uh, but I mean, it was eight or nine dollars. I thought I'd give it a try because it looks so cool. The front side has green, velvety, soft leaves. And then the underbelly is this gorgeous red color. How cool is that? So if any of you guys can identify this, please let me know what it is so I can look up how to care for it. I just think that that's so cool. I love my new little babies. And then it's a bit hard to bring over here, but I have my new bird of paradise. So I'll insert lots of video here. I have been wanting a bird of paradise for so long. And I didn't think that I was gonna be able to get one because I know they require a lot of care. And all the ones that I was seeing were really expensive. But then one day I decided to go down to Old Faithful Shop and just see if they had a bird of paradise, just, just so I could look at it, you know, I'm not gonna buy it. But once I got there, I was like, I really, really, really want one. So I decided to get one and it is huge. I'm gonna have to separate this. I can probably get 
three nice plants out of this one and I just love it because it brings this tropical feel into your living space. The leaves are so big and gorgeous and you want to make sure you choose a variety that's meant for indoors. So mine is a white bird of paradise. And then next to bring a little bit of color, I have my gorgeous orchid plant. And as you can see, I haven't been training it. You're supposed to train it on the stick to give it that beautiful shape. So it's kind of hunched over, but I thought this plant was completely dead. So I just kind of, yeah, I just left it on my shelf thinking that it was dead, but it came back to life. So luckily I didn't get rid of it and it started to bloom again and they bloom for a long time, which is nice. These ones have been going for about three months. As you can see, these ones just started to die. They weren't like that yesterday. So good thing I'm filming this video today. I didn't know this, but orchids can actually last for decades. So if you think it's dead, don't throw it out because you could miss out on some beautiful, beautiful blooms. And I'll share a few care tips too. So something that's really helped me out with watering is getting a moisture meter. They aren't very expensive. I think they're like 10 bucks or so, but if you have plants like the bird of paradise or a palm tree that needs more moisture, this will help you out so much. It tells you if it's dry, moist, or wet. And so many times I would think that the plant was moist with water and then I would measure it and it would be dry. Or, you know, I might think that I need to water a plant and then I measure it and it says it's wet. I mean, you can just go in with your finger and put about two inches down and see if it's dry, but this just takes all the guesswork out of it. So I highly, highly recommend getting one of these. You can get them on Amazon or your local nursery. And then another thing that really helps me out is having a spray bottle. And this is really good for plants that like high humidity, like the palm trees or bird of paradise again. And I just spray my plants. It's really fun to do. I love doing it every day. Uh, and it just helps with the humidity. Just make sure you're using filtered water because the plants might not react well to chlorine and things. And another thing that I love to do is give my plants a shower. You only wanna do this with plants that like high humidity and misting. So I do it with my pothos, I do it with my palm tree and my emerald gem plant. And I just put them in the shower and then I have a shower filter on, which is great. Um, a shower filter is better than regular water and it has seven settings and one of the settings is a misting setting. So I put it on that misting setting with warm water and I just mist all the plants and let them soak up, drink up that water and they love it so much. They just boop, perk up right after. It's like they're in a rainforest. So that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love being surrounded by all these plants. Maybe this should be a new setup for me, a new background. Maybe I'll take a few of them away. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really had fun showing you my plants. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.